What's going on, you guys? Let's wake you guys to another one take review. This is my review of, I was about to say, Black Clover. <laughs> Cloak and Dagger, uh, episode four, call slash call and response. Um, this episode picks up where we left off last episode where uh, 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 Tyrone and Tandy are in the church just talking to each other. But the only thing they did, this, they did something a little bit different because the whole episode is showing them in the uh, church talking, you know what I'm saying, discussing like what they think is going on, how they connected, what they seen from each other, how, how each other's powers work, or how they think their powers work. But at the same time, going forward and showing what they're doing present time because technically what their, their time in the church may be like a day ago so tandy's dealing with uh her, her not her stepdad but the guy her mom's dating the lawyer and she's like trying to get details about him and one thing i don't know tandy can do is when she touched somebody she can see like their hopes and when she touched, she always thought he had like an ulterior motive. He he just trying to, you know what I'm saying? He just was somebody just trying to get in on it, her mama. But when she touched and she realized like, yo, he legitimately likes her and, you know what I'm saying, wants to be with her and, and get things straight and organize something to see what's going on what happened with, her fa- with her father. So they get cool. They're, 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 they're communicating and, uh, she, he's bringing her in on a case, letting her know like yo, some shady stuff was going down. We just don't know exactly why. We trying to get to the, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. And she's there to help him. So you have that, and then you have Tyrone whole case where his father takes him back to like the Ninth Ward in New Orleans, and like North Ninth Ward in New Orleans, and like he showed him like what's been going on there, and like this this place where like hey, these were people came and you know what I'm saying they started certain things and just, just, some things just weren't finished and then he actually had like a robe that was from his brother and I, I actually like how the, they did that to were like hey this was your brother's you know what I'm saying he didn't finish it so he's like yo I'm gonna finish it for him it's like actually the cloak that he's uh, eventually gonna start wearing so you have that and but the meat of it was them two still talking, and them two, uh, Tandy and, uh, and Tyrone talking in the church, and it's like, and and it got to a point where like they, their conversation got kind of heated, because he she started saying like, hey, I'm, I have it hard, I'm I'm out here stealing things. He like, yo, you can do that though. I don't, I am not, I'm not even able to do that because people automatically assume I'm gonna do that. And like they, they, it becomes like a, a, a it kind of becomes a shot man. So like, who has it worse? She lost her father, mother's like, you know what I'm saying, strung out, or you know what I'm saying, can't get her stuff together, and not living how she thinks she should. But she's white. He has a situation where he has both his parents living in a good neighborhood, but. In America, that really doesn't matter because he's black, and now they're both like, yo. And they're both made some pretty valid arguments. And both of them had some pretty good arguments as to why which one's life is worse than the other. It kind of was like a, a Deadpool, Vanessa type thing. Uh, but I think it worked, and it, it, especially because it. I didn't want them to do this and then immediately come back together. They did it, and they separated. They both went their separate ways, but I think it's going to come back especially since the lawyer got killed and all this stuff went up in flames and Tandy saw that. And now she don't even want to tell her mom because that was going to be a big blow, especially since her mom just broke up with him. And she's going to be like, her mom kind of going to feel like it's her fault. I know that's kind of how it's going to go. And then I wonder what how it's going to be when she tell him. And, and so now you're going to have a situation where she has to like, yo, I know something's really going on, Shady, with my stuff happening with my dad because the guy my mom was dating that was investigating all of it, he was kids, like, yo, I know something's still going on with this cop. So I, now we now we can finally help each other out because uh, we're on episode five and we and we only have 10 episodes. So I think it's time we start, you know what I'm saying, investigating with each other. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I, I, like the, I like the grounded nature of this show a bunch. Uh, I think that's probably my favorite part is that it's so grounded it, it, and it only involves, involves a few people in this small circle and to the everything 
nothing just a super grand scale. And I think that's what Cloak and Dagger is because in the comics, they mostly just took down like drug dealers and stuff like that. So they, they keep it this very small. And, and I think it's a very weird weird connection between uh, uh, Tanda and Tyrone that they know is there, but neither one of them kind of want to act on it because they pretty much are the only two people they can talk to about what's going on with them. So, uh, yeah, this was a thoroughly, thoroughly, I mean, a, a very good episode to me. Um, and I feel like I'm liking the slow build. Even though it's only 10 episodes, you kind of be like, you want, you like the slow build, but you hope it, it don't get to the point where they start rushing stuff at the end. But so far, I'm, I'm liking the slow build, and, and it, it's being executed perfectly, in my opinion. So, yeah, uh, another good episode, Black Club. I mean, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Why do I keep saying Black Cloak? Another good episode of Cloak and Dagger, man. You guys let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you with you guys later.